Hello, I'm Aubrey Basil, and today I'm interviewing Rob Varney, a Berman student worker for the past four years. Hi, Rob, how are you? I'm doing good. Good. So could you tell us a little bit about yourself? My name is Rob Varney. I graduated this past May of 2020. I have been with the Berman for the last three and a half, four years, and I majored in studio art and minored in media communications. How has your major affected your job at the museum? It's definitely made me take what, like what I do at the museum more seriously because obviously like the experience there is very applicable to my major as well. Having an idea of what goes into behind the scenes of an exhibition gives me more of an idea of like how I can better prepare myself for that in the future. Do you have a favorite piece of art in the collection or that you've come across in any exhibition? Ooh. <laughs> I really like the collection of uh, Joel Merowitz's um, images from 9-11. Uh, that, that's like a really powerful collection, yeah. not necessarily like a happy collection. Also the Don Camps that we recently got are amazing as well. Mm -hmm. Has anything surprised you about your job since working at the Berman? I would say the amount of enjoyment I get out of spackling like, fixing <laughs> oh, yeah. up a gallery is uh -huh. something that has actually surprised me. It's um, very zen. You can kind of just zone out, listen to music, and mm -hmm. do your job. <laughs> so. There's a lot of spackling, too. It needs always a lot of spackling. How has your relationship with museums changed since working at the Berman? I definitely have a bigger appreciation for museum staff and, like, looking at other museums and how they set their exhibits up. I can see the time that went into it and like the attention to detail or lack of. Um, yeah. I'd compare it to like knowing CGI for a movie, for example. Like yeah. you kind of like, you're able to pick it out. <laughs> pick it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like the magic isn't ruined per se, but you know what goes into that magic. So it's really cool. So do you have any fun facts about yourself? Dogs are allowed. Cause yeah, you little... could... My little oh cat my dog is sitting right here. Come here, buddy. You're going on camera. I didn't want to talk about You're going on camera. <gasps> oh my god. This is Gus. Gus. Yes. Yes. Look here. At you him. can sit on the table. Oh. There you go. Get in frame, bud. There you go. He's so cute. Look at his little he, face. He is a Pomeranian Chihuahua with a little bit of husky in him, I think. <laughs> oh um, my god. Yeah, that husky coloring. Look at him. Markings. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna slam up the table. <laughs> <laughs> He's too cute. <laughs> he is too cute. Um, all right, oh. goodbye then. Um, <laughs> that is Gus. Thank you for showing me Gus. <laughs> uh, anytime, anytime. If you need Gus picks, I will gladly send you Gus picks to brighten your day. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> I like fixing things that are broken. So mm -hmm. like, if. I have a broken camera that yeah. isn't too expensive or <laughs> like something like that. I like to uh, learn how to service things and make them last like past what people would think is their kind of like expiration date sort of. I did uh, ref not refurbish, but like cleaned up, like replaced mm -hmm. some seals and uh, fixed some screws that were missing on my dad's camera that he gave me. I've had that for the last close to eight years. He originally got that when he was like 16, so. Wow. Or early 70s, mid 70s. Yeah, what a timepiece you can have. Yeah. Like. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much for talking to me, Rob. This has been this has been really fun. It's great to talk to you again, Aubrey. Have a good one. Nice you too.